are you aware that the judicial service of Ghana, the chief justice, is looking for $50 million to replace the demolished judicial training institute? Who is going to pay for that? Our taxes? Did we ask the president to demolish the judicial training institute? Judges bungalows that have been demolished, they are waiting for their compensation. The Malian ambassador whose residence has been demolished, waiting for his compensation. Then you have Shraj, their bungalows demolished. They are waiting for their replacement. Shraj. You have scholarship secretariat. They are waiting for a new scholarship secretariat building. As for the passport head office, we managed to find 10 million cities to build a new one. Then comes this IT firm, Waterstone Realty Apartment Complex. They are already in court demanding compensation of about $5 million. So let's not only focus on the pit and the $58 million spent there, but where are we going to get all of these millions of Ghana cities to compensate all these people? So it's not just a simple matter mm. of, oh, you know, um, we'll do some consultation and see if we can redesign. I mean, it's a bigger mess than the vice president is portraying. And all of these groups of people are waiting for their compensation. Mm -hmm. There are legal consequences. Some are in court. I mean, and, I mean what happened? Who is responsible for this I mean, incredible madness? And nobody is taking responsibility. Nobody is being honest with the Ghanaian people to say that, look, we got it totally wrong. This has been such a scam. It was just intended to loot, and we are sorry. This is, these are the people who we are holding responsible. Look, as for this National Cathedral matter, I am clear in my mind that a lot of people will have to face the music, a lot of people. Because look, the implications, the consequences, the cost, the humongous financial burden of compensating all these people, including diplomats, is going to be with us for a very, very long time. Mm. And people must not be allowed to get away with this. They must not.